In this tutorial, I'll try to explain how to set up a crypto wallet and how to buy NFTs. If you're new to crypto, here's a quick summary of the terms I'll be using. Blockchain is an infrastructure that holds a native currency, also known as coins. ETH is the native currency of Ethereum blockchain. Some blockchains can also hold smart contracts, which are known as tokens. We can use a blockchain to transfer liquidity or buy and sell assets in the form of tokens. We need to have a crypto wallet to be able to do anything in the Ethereum blockchain. In this tutorial, we're going to be using MetaMask. There's also a great article in Medium by Abhimanyu Bhargava. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. And in that article, you can find everything that I'm talking about in this video, plus all the links that you're going to need. If you're using a Chrome browser, you need to install MetaMask as an add-on. So go to metamask.io and click download on the top right. You're going to pick Chrome and install MetaMask for Chrome. Here, I'm going to click Add to Chrome, Add Extension, and then Get Started. If you already have a MetaMask, you can connect it to your current browser by using Import Wallet. If this is your first MetaMask wallet, then just click on Create a Wallet. First of all, read carefully everything here. Now, I'm just going to click Agree. And then you're going to create a password for your MetaMask. And then create. At this point, I would advise you to read everything here and watch the video. Because when it comes to crypto, you'll be responsible from your own money and assets. And there's not going to be a third party in the middle, like a bank or government, to protect your assets or liquidity. I'm just going to click next. And here comes the very important part. Your MetaMask wallet is actually a set of words that's called a seed phrase. And your seed phrase is actually the wallet itself. By using that same seed phrase, you can reach to your account on pretty much any browser, on all of the wallets that support Ethereum blockchain, and all of the hardware ledgers that support Ethereum blockchain. So click here and reveal your seed phrase. It's going to look like a password that's 12 words long. My advice is never save this password digitally don't even take a picture of it and save it in your computer or your phone or your tablet device. The scammers will always want to trick people and steal their money. And if they have your seed phrase, that means your wallet and your assets are 100% compromised. I wouldn't copy and paste this seed phrase on a hard drive. To me, the best way to keep your seed phrase safe is to write it on a piece of paper, make one or two copies and keep them in a safe place apart from each other. Just know that if you ever lose or forget your seed phrase, you'll never be able to access your account again. After writing down my seed phrase, I'm just going to click next. Now as an extra layer of security, MetaMask is going to ask me to put the seed phrase in the right order once again. I'm just going to look to my notes and recreate the seed phrase inside the box by clicking on the words in the right order. And I'm going to hit confirm. All done. MetaMask also gives you the option to scan a QR code to install your MetaMask wallet to your cell phone or to your tablet. But again, always be careful and never share your computer screen when this QR code is visible. Because whoever sees your QR code or seed phrase can mount your MetaMask wallet to their own browser and transfer or sell your assets. Now I'm just going to go to extensions here and click on MetaMask once and it's going to appear as a pop-up window. Now my balance is 0 ETH and that's the dollar value of my holdings. I can buy ETH directly with my credit card. I can send ETH to another wallet or I can swap ETH for other tokens on Ethereum blockchain. When you're buying Doge Pound NFTs, you always want to make sure that you're working on the Ethereum mainnet. If you click here, you're going to see some other networks, but we always want to be on the Ethereum mainnet. Here's our account's name. And here's the account number. This is our public wallet address. So if we want to receive any coins or tokens from somewhere else, this is the address that they're going to be sending them. If you click here once, it's going to be copied to your clipboard. Your account number is not something secret. People can see it. It's public. But your seed phrase should be kept safe and only you should know it. Now our account is set up. So we want to buy some ETH because on the Ethereum blockchain, most of the purchases that we're going to be making are going to be through ETH. If you want to buy ETH, 
directly with your credit card, just click buy and continue to wire. Here you're going to enter how much you want to spend, let's say $1,000. And right below it, you're going to see how much ETH you're getting for that price at that moment. I click Authorize, Card Payments, and Next. And here you're just going to fill up the form like any other online purchase, and the ETH will be deposited to your MetaMask account. If you already have some ETH on another account, and you want to transfer that ETH to your MetaMask, then you can use this account number. Let's say you're using Binance or another exchange. You want to transfer some ETH from the crypto exchange that you use to your MetaMask wallet. You simply go to Withdrawal. You select what type of coin you want to transfer. And then you enter your MetaMask wallet address. When you're doing this, you have to be careful. Never send a particular coin to the wrong blockchain network. Like, if you try to send Bitcoin to Ethereum network, or if you try to send ETH to Bitcoin network, then you're going to run into problems and most probably lose your coins. You choose how much ETH you want to send. Let's say one ETH. And then just click withdraw. Once you complete these steps, it may take a few minutes, sometimes up to 10, 15 minutes for the coins to be transferred to your MetaMask. Now you transferred some ETH or you bought some ETH and you're ready to buy Doge Pound NFTs. Doge Pound NFTs are only sold on the secondary market right now and that market is OpenSea. So go to OpenSea.io and here on the upper right there's a wallet. Click on it and click MetaMask. It's asking me to add MetaMask to my browser even though it's already installed. I'm just going to refresh my page. And then come here, click on MetaMask, and MetaMask is going to pop up and ask me if I want to sign into that site. Always sign into trusted sites and always make sure that the links are right and are not scams. I can see my different accounts that my wallet holds. I just had one account so far. I'm going to click that and I'm going to click next. I'm going to click connect. And now I'm connected to OpenSea. I can go to my profile. It still doesn't see. Let's refresh this. Sign in. Okay. Now I can set up my profile if I want. I can put a banner up here, change the name, change the profile picture, create NFTs myself, and also buy NFTs from OpenSea secondary market. To buy Doge Pound NFTs, I'm going to come to the search box, write Doge Pound. And here I want to make sure that I'm picking the right Doge Pound collection too because there are a lot of scammers in OpenSea as well. They use the same avatars and names with the successful projects. So I want to select the one with the blue tick. Now we come to the collection page. There are some stats at the top. What I want to do is I want to browse the cheapest dogs first. So I come here and pick price low to high. Now you're going to see some red units here and some black and white units. These are Ethereum and these are wrapped Ethereum. Some of these prices are bid prices, which means someone wants to buy the stock and this is how much they are offering. If you want to see all the dogs that are already on sale, then just click buy now and then we can see the sale price from cheapest to most expensive dog. Let's click on this one. Doge Pound is a series of collectibles and these collectibles have different traits. To see those traits, click on Properties. You can see the particular traits for that dog, and you can also see how rare are those traits. You can see how much money people offered for this particular dodge in the past. And if you go down, you can see the transaction history. So if you're looking at a particular dog, and if you see this Buy Now sign, you can buy it for that price directly. I'm just going to click Buy Now. So this is the dog, this is the price, I'm checking, and then I'm going to click checkout. But it's grayed out right now because I don't have any ETH on my balance. If I have enough ETH in my wallet, the MetaMask will pop up again and ask me to confirm the transaction. This is just a reference right now, so never mind the numbers. First you're going to see a gas fee. This is the fee that you're going to pay for transaction. And right below it, you're going to see the total of your purchase with the gas fee. 
Keep in mind that the gas fees in Ethereum blockchain are very volatile. Before you do any transaction, I would advise you to go and check the gas prices. You can check them from ethgasstation.info and you're going to see three numbers at the top of the page. I usually look at the standard and if I'm going to make a transaction, I want the gas fee for standard to be somewhere in between 15 and 40. Sometimes these numbers are going to be huge, 200 or even 400. And at those times, the network is really congested and you're going to be paying a huge amount of transaction fees. Refresh them every now and then and see what's the current gas prices and try to catch a time of the day where the gas prices are the lowest. Check everything one last time and click confirm. Your transaction will be written on the blockchain and once it's processed, you're going to get a message from MetaMask. If you click on that message box, it's going to take you to your transaction page. From now on, every time you're connected to OpenSea with your MetaMask wallet, you're going to be able to see the pieces that you collected and the ones that you created. If you want to sell a piece, you can click on it and list it on the secondary market. Finally, if you want to check the rarity of your Doge before buying it or when you want to sell it on the secondary market, you can go to rarity.tools, come to all collections, find Doge Pound NFT here, and here you're going to find a lot of tools to rank your dog. Each of the doges has a number. Let's say we want to check the rarity of doggy4646. I can simply copy that, come to rarity tools, click on the ID box and paste it. When I look up, I can see the score, the higher, the better. I can see its rank, the lower, the better. And also I can see the floor prices for each trade that this dog has and also view it on the OpenSea secondary market. If I wanted to buy this Doge on OpenSea, I would check the prices here and try not to pay too much. And if I wanted to sell this Doge, then I would probably want to price it at least as much as the rarest trades go. Always keep in mind that very rare dogs will always sell for more money, but sometimes rarity won't affect the price as much as the looks. So try to buy something rare, but at the same time, Something that you really like. Oh!